So, so, welcome to part two, where we review the second set, volume two. Now, this is a much better set, in my honest opinion, though I haven't opened it, because it has some much more nicely looking figures, and it has a nice contrast between each one. Now, with that out of the way, let's get it open. Right there. Uh -huh. And right there. Awesome. Awesome. Since that exact same thing happened with Volume 1, I kind of expected it, though it happened anyway. Anyway, let's get on with the show. First up, we got the 1978 White Spaceman. Exact same articulation as every Lego. Hands, arms, legs, and head. It's got some white backpacking. Normal head. No visor, even though it does have the peg that you could put a visor in. And has the usual Lego smile. It's got a uh, planet with a thingy. A thingy. A thingy. Yeah. Next up, we have the 1982 band person, or maybe it's a delivery man, or maybe it's a just a normal guy, but I thought it would be a band person since it has a... What are those called? Uh, I forget. Whatever. It has a thing. It has an instrumentational thing. It's got some red molding on the chest, some red molding with the legs, r black... Did I just say red molding with the legs? It's black molding. Red... Black... Black molding with the hat. And the exact same face as before. Yeah. Pretty simple. Normal Lego stuff. Moving on. Next up is the... 1984. Black Spaceman. To coincide with the white spaceman. Maybe they're partners. Maybe it's like, hey Jim. Yo. Why are we here? I don't know, we're in space. Why aren't we wearing our visors? Because we're suicidal maniacs. Yay. Exactly. Pretty much the exact same figure. Hell, it's the exact same figure as the red guy from the first set. And it's I like this one a lot more, though, because, honestly, I think the black looks really nicer, and it makes you seem like he's a ninja. It could be like, there's a pirate, and he's like, argh, you matey, and then they don't even see this guy, and he's like, I just totally smacked a $20 minute figure. Yeah. Anyway, next up we have the 1996 Pirate. Yar har fiddle dee you are a pirate. However did that song go? Whatever. Does it matter? Nope. It's got probably one of the nicest detailings out of the entire LEGO sets. It's got a pirate thingy, a anchor, it's got a vest, it's got a belt, it's got blue pants, and it's torso has... It's back has nothing, which doesn't really make sense. I, I mean, I know they were trying to cut costs with the back, but think about it. I mean, it has the vest and nothing. It's like the vest is his torso. OMG. It ha and moving on. The face is pretty neat. I mean, it has a mustache similar to the bank robber guy in the first box set. Maybe they're the same guy. Maybe this guy is like him after he escaped jail. I don't know. And he's got a goatee or a 5 o'clock shadow. 5 o'clock shadow, yeah. And nice hat I've seen actually on Santa Claus before. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. You're going to die now. And finally, out of this entire set, comes my favorite. The 1999 Ninja. It's a freaking Ninja Assassin guy. I don't know, it's just a ninja. So, he's molded in mostly red plastic with a normal face. Well, he looks normal. He's just really mad for some reason. And he's got some really nice detailing. He has a throwing star, a knife, and some armor up in the top. And his belt, uh... His Hands and he's actually got a peg in the back if you want to like slice his sword right there like a lightsaber or something. And moving on, let's show the face off. Awesome! Do you see this? It's like a completely different figure. I mean, look at that. He has an entire bandana to go with him. That's amazing. Awesome. Best figure out of both first sets. So, 
Thanks for watching this. I honestly like the ninja and the black spaceman the most out of the set, with the pirate being in close third place. Now, thanks for watching, and if you haven't watched, go watch part one right now, please. Here's another look at the packaging. Click right here. Right here. Please, right now. Can you do it right now? Maybe. Now. Now? Possibly now. Whatever. Thanks for watching.